I'm literally at the tail end of the Chloe Ting hourglass challenge and once I finish that video I'm gonna post the results video for you guys I'm so excited because I've worked so hard y'all you have no idea Today is my last day of doing the Chloe Ting challenge, so let's get her done. I finished! Wait, don't skip to the end for the results because I have a few things to explain about my diet and consistency, but let me just pull myself together first. Okay, so before we jump into the results, let me explain a little bit about my diet and consistency, why I started, so that way you guys can get the full view of what I did during the workouts. Excuse me if I have my phone, I'm just looking at the notes I took. Sure. So, why I started? Well, it's because I saw a results video. It was recommended to me on my YouTube homepage. Another YouTuber made a Chloe Ting challenge results video and that's the video that I first clicked on. I had no idea what the Chloe Ting challenge was and she explained like what the challenge was about, that it was free on Chloe Ting's website and she went on about her results at the end and when I watched it, I was so motivated. Even though that specific YouTuber wasn't very consistent and the results weren't that dramatic, I was still really motivated because I was like, wow, there's an exercise program that's free and it helps me target what I, the areas that I need to target, I'm in. So I started going down this rabbit hole of people's results. I saw some people had really dramatic changes and it really, really got the fire burning in me and I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. So let me explain a little bit about my previous exercise history so that you guys know where I started. When I started, I had a really big belly. Well, not big, huge, big to me. I wasn't really happy where I was at and I was exercising occasionally. Like I would occasionally go for a run. So I wasn't very consistent with my workouts, but I still didn't dread working out. It was just that I wasn't very consistent. My husband is actually the gym rat of the family. He loves to bodybuild and, you know, pump iron. So he would be the one to drag me to the gym. But now I feel like I drag him to work out. So thank you, Chloe, for helping me. And thank you, Brian, for helping me with my workouts. Now that I've explained a little bit of my exercise history, let me explain a little bit of my diet because I feel like a lot of the results videos don't include this, even though this is a very important part of working out and just overall changing your body. So my diet is, well, I'm a vegan. Some of my subscribers already know that because I post vegan videos all the time. Being vegan just means that I've cut certain foods out of my diet. I don't eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, but what I do eat are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. The last part kind of makes me sound like a bird, but it is what it is. I don't think that my diet necessarily affected me a lot during this workout. I feel like the only advantage maybe that I have from having this diet is that I don't feel so heavy after meals. Because I felt lighter after some meals, I could still work out and I feel like that kind of made it a little bit easier for me. But I don't think that my diet really affects the workout because I've been vegan for so long. Now let me explain the progression that I had and how I improved during these workouts. So day one actually wasn't too difficult. She had about two videos that you had to do and they were about 10 minutes each. but. Don't get me wrong, they still had me sweating and like gasping for air like a fish out of water. As the days went on, things got a little bit more difficult. Like four videos for one day, they would be hour long workouts and Chloe, just, just admit it. You're trying to kill me. At one point though, I felt like I was about ready to give up, but that is actually when I left a comment on one of Chloe Ting's videos and you guys responded back and were so sweet and encouraged me to keep going and pushed me to keep going. So thank you guys so much for your encouragement. Also, at one point, people started to notice that I was working out and they were asking me if I was going to the gym and that was also part of my motivation to keep going. Let me explain also my consistency during this workout. So 
Consistency overall, I'd say I was okay. This challenge is 26 days long. It took me a little bit over a month to complete this challenge, but I am so happy that I did. And I am very, very happy with the results. A month may seem like a long time, but it actually goes by pretty quickly. And even if you fall off track, this is what helps me. I was watching one of Chloe's reactions to the results videos and one girl wasn't very consistent and Chloe said even if you're not consistent even if you fall off for a day or two get right back up where you started and keep going and that's my advice to you guys even if you fall off even if you miss a couple days start right back up where you left off and keep going finish this challenge because you're going to like yourself once you do So let me give you guys some advice for those who actually want to do this challenge. So number one is get yourself a good exercise mat. Number two is to start with a challenge that isn't as long as this one. This one was 26 days. I'd say get a shorter challenge. I'd say maybe do her two week ab challenge. That is pretty reasonable and I feel like you're going to see results if you do it every single day. Number three, drink lots of water. Please drink lots of water. Even though you guys see me drink water all the time, I still felt dehydrated at some points and I realized that I wasn't drinking enough water. So here's my advice to you, drink more water. Stay hydrated, kids. Also, if you're realizing that you're getting headaches after working out, you're probably dehydrated, so please drink some water. I'm speaking from experience. Next piece of advice I have for you guys is to eat enough food. Make sure that you're eating enough calories. Obviously, you don't want to starve your body out. You want to give yourself the nutrients and the vitamins that you need to continue working out. Also, you want to take care of the home of the Holy Spirit that lives within you. Another piece of advice I have is, you know those rest days that she gives in between the workouts? Take that opportunity to stretch your muscles. After some workouts, I would be so, so sore and my muscles would be very, very tight. So I took those days that I had for rest and I made sure that I would stretch and just loosen up those muscles so that it didn't hurt as much and it really, really helped me. Okay, last piece of advice that I have is remember why you started and remember how much you've progressed since you started because even though your results may not be as drastic as some other people's, Look at yourself, like film yourself on day one and film yourself on the last day and you're gonna see that you have changed so much in terms of your strength, your stamina, and like just overall, just how much your muscles have grown. You're gonna be amazed. So without further ado, let's get into my results. Okay, y'all, so I'm just gonna show you my results. Yeah. These are my abs. Look at that. I am like flexing a little bit, but like just so y'all can see. What? I don't know if y'all see that. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? If you can't see, let me know. But I see it. I see the lines. I didn't have this before. This kind of definition. Well, it's not super defined, but I'm so happy with where I am now compared to where I was. Totally different. Let me get you the side view. And now let's also measure it because I measured it in the beginning. So, so in the beginning I was 27 inches. So now I just want to see how big I am now. And I am 20, almost to 25 inches, y'all. <laughs> this is insane. I dropped like two inches, guys. I was this much bigger before. <gasps> that is insane. Insane, y'all. Absolutely insane. 25. I feel like the biggest change, however, was my butt. So let me turn around so I can show y'all. The biggest change has to be my, my bum because before it was a lot, I feel like it was a lot droopier. And like this, this part here, like would just hang down. I feel like it lifted up a little bit, but also like this part here where you can almost see like a double butt cheek was very prominent before and I feel like now it's not as prominent you know it's still a ways to go it, I mean it's not perfect but I'm really really happy with how it's you know it's at least getting better and I feel like I've developed my like hamstring a little bit more
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I just want to say if you find the hidden Bible verse in this video, then comment down below once you do so you get a shout out in my next video. And leave me a running emoji in the comment section so that I know that you've made it all the way to the end. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about results. It, and if you've done this challenge, let me know down in the comments below because I'm very, very curious. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.